Hey everyone, it's that time of year again. We're gonna take a look at all of the Milwaukee Tool patents that I've found for 2021 to see what we might see coming in the next year. So let's jump right into it. And remember, it doesn't mean we're definitely gonna see these tools, but it's a good indication of something Milwaukee has spent some engineering time on. So the first patent I have is for an M18 material hoist system. This thing is gonna be pretty user-friendly. It's gonna have the option for multiple hoists or winches connected to a one wireless controller and working in tandem. And it's, it's gonna be a smart system so you don't have to manage the height multiple hoists are at. They're going to be able to determine things like angles, chain length, direction, speed, load, and et cetera and even maintain level on your workpiece if you have a separate sensor that you place on whatever you're lifting. Of course, they plan safety aspects for this. You're using a cordless tool. You can't have the power fail and it drop the load. So they've got locking paws in the event that you do have a power failure. There's also mention of a joystick type controller and a Bluetooth for app connectivity with one key. There's even mention of possible voice or gesture control, which would be really awesome to be able to not even have to do anything to say higher or lower, uh, you know, and control it that way as well. There are also quite a few packout patents I found. One of the more interesting ones is a packout ladder. So this is a ladder that integrates with the packout system. At the top of it, you've got a spot to lock in a half size packout box, uh, and it's got packout cleats on the fold out sh utility shelf as well. There's a built-in tackle box style hardware tray integrated into the top of the ladder unit as well. Other things they've innovated on this design aren't strictly related to pack out, but it's got a padded shoulder carry spot and a center link so you can lock and unlock both supports on the ladder simultaneously. This next one is a pack out compatible laser mount. So instead of having to carry around a tripod for the new M12 and red lithium USB lasers, you can just literally click these on the top of your pack out stack and then adjust it up and down with micro adjustments from there. You just better hope you don't need anything in your packouts while you've got that laser set up because you have to set it up all over again. So this next one is another packout patent. This one has a solar panel built into the top of a packout box. So it's got the ability to charge your batteries on the go. Uh, obviously this is gonna sit on the top of your packout stack so it has access to sunlight. And there's an option that lets you tilt the top a little bit so you have it a perpendicular direction to the sun so you're getting the maximum efficiency out of this solar panel. So I did some calculations and based on state-of-the-art solar technology right now, uh, you're looking at maximum 50 watts output out of this thing based on its surface area and the best solar cells that are available. So what that means is on a sunny day you can charge a 5 amp hour battery in 1.8 hours. This next one's a really interesting design. It's a stud punch for metal stud construction. So Milwaukee's done knockout punches before. Uh, they're slower, they're, they're a lot of force. They're like 10 ton output. This one's a lot less. It's like 1,100 pounds, but it's for thinner 25 gauge non-structural studs. And to generate all this force, it's using a planetary gear system and a scotch yoke mechanism instead of hydraulics, which has to be a lot faster. So this thing's really aimed at plumbers and electricians running pipes and wiring through steel studs. And it's really about speeding up your workflow because it's talking about less than one second for your cycle time on punching studs. It mentions the stroke length is around 1.85 inches and it generates anywhere from 600 to 1100 pounds based on whatever angle the scotch yoke mechanism is at. So this next one is a patent for an M18 installation driver. We've had the M12 fuel installation driver for a while now, a few years. Uh, this thing's a great little tool. And I don't know if this patent is for the original M12 driver. Uh, there's a version in Europe that doesn't have the handguard out in the front, uh, but there's an M18 version shown in this patent as well. So maybe we'll see a higher torque, higher power output version of the installation driver. And that's something Bosch has done with their FlexiClick system. They started with the 12 volt and then they introduced the 18 volt eventually too. This next one is an inductive heater for battery charging. So if you've got a really cold battery, that's one of the ways you can really damage a lithium ion battery is if you charge it when it's freezing, like below zero. Uh, that can kill it really quickly. So this one's just a little thing you can click onto your charger that heats up the battery first to a warmer temperature, not burning hot, just warm enough that it won't damage it, and then it'll charge normally on the M18 charger. This could be really useful for cold climates when you don't have an option to go indoors and charge your batteries. So this next one is a lighted job box that is powered and it's got a heater in it so you can keep things like consumables and batteries warm enough that they don't freeze. It has built-in lights, USB ports, and 120 volt outlets. Uh, it plugs in and has integrated chargers in it as well. And of course, it's got pack-out integration built in. 
Milwaukee's come out with quite a few levels with their red stick line in the past few years. And there looks like they're also looking at a smaller digital torpedo level. So this one is small enough that they're not gonna be using red lithium USB on it. It specifically mentions AA or AAA cells for it. So they're looking at a, a smaller handheld one, maybe the one that can fit in your tool belt or something, not quite as big and bulky as the red stick series. I also found a patent for a telescoping M18 pole saw. So that's different from the existing quick lock one because that one has a three foot extension that you can attach to it uh, and it's just a fixed length. So this patent I found has a telescoping pole with a drive shaft running through the middle of it, which is quite the engineering feat. They didn't put the motor at the head of the chainsaw because you'd have a bunch of weight up there and when you've got it extended really far out, it's really hard to manage. So the motor's back in the back end uh, and it's got that telescoping reach for you uh, to reach really high lengths with this instead of having to go grab a separate attachment. I'm not really sure if this one will make it to market though because they have an existing pole saw with the quick lock system that does the exact same thing. It's just maybe a little bit more cumbersome. So Milwaukee has really been getting into hand tools the last few years. Uh, they've come out with quite a line of wrenches, sockets, and, and ratchets. Now it looks like they're getting into manual torque wrenches. So this is a patentable design. It looks like it's got some unique features to it, but I'd love to see Milwaukee torque wrenches as well. Speaking of hand tools, I found an option for a speed screwdriver, which has a gearing system to turn the bit faster than you're actually turning it with your hand. And at least one version of this tool has a hollow center line, so you can use it to run nuts onto thread rod, which can be a really long and annoying process if you don't have a tool like this. There's also even a version that's motorized for this, but they don't say what the power source will be. What I'd really like to see instead of this one though, is a red lithium USB powered screwdriver, a lot like the M4 that Milwaukee has, or maybe the Bosch Go, or other things like that. All right, and this next one is really cool, and I think it's on the cutting edge, and we're probably a few years out from seeing this, if we ever see it at all, but it is a spatially aware tool system. And when I say that, I'm talking about augmented reality, like the Microsoft HoloLens, which they've used on the space station to help astronauts with complicated procedures. It plans and blueprints overlaid on top of the actual construction site. So you can see, where am I supposed to put that pipe? Right there. Where's that air duct supposed to go? Right there. And you can manage multiple different contractors working on things and not getting in each other's way because everyone knows where everyone else's stuff is supposed to go. So probably the best application for this is big commercial job sites where you've got a lot of different contractors working in the same area. Probably not gonna see it in residential construction anytime soon just because of the complexity and the setup costs that you're going to have for this. And to make this happen, Milwaukee's gonna have to bring in some outside expertise because their area is tools and they need some surveying equipment for this. It looks like they've got a drawing of a Trimble Total Station in this patent as well. And they're gonna need the, the technology, either the, like a Microsoft HoloLens, or they mentioned even having a projector so the, the construction workers don't have to wear anything on their face. It also talks about motion tracking and triangulation. Uh, so you could even have integrated tools where once you're lined up, your drill will start when you pull the trigger and otherwise it won't. So I can see this thing being a huge benefit in the future, but they're gonna have a lot of work to do to make sure this thing is usable and not a hindrance instead. So that's everything I found this year. Hopefully you found it interesting. Remember, these are just patents, so that means a lot of them could just die on the drawing board. It's something Milwaukee has put a little bit of time into, but it doesn't necessarily mean we'll see it as an actual product. So go ahead and drop a comment down below and tell me what you are most looking forward to Milwaukee coming out with, or if you're really excited about any of the tools that I previewed with this video. And I'm sure I will get 50 comments for a track saw, but go ahead and leave them anyway. So thanks for watching, and once again, don't forget to subscribe.